Texas Fort Myers took a direct hit as Hurricane Ian came ashore. This could be the deadliest hurricane in Florida's history. You know, we're looking at 12 to 18 feet of water above ground level. And we're getting new video. You can see how high the water is, how fast it's moving. As you drive down the streets of Fort Myers, the only thing you can to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for life. It is, it, it is, it is very sad. Very, very sad. Nobody has power. Nobody, most of us don't have running water. It's been rough, tough, um, was freaking out. At one point, I thought my roof was gonna come flying off. I've heard devastating stories. I mean, several employees have completely lost their homes. One said to us when we asked, what can we bring you, um, that she just wanted us to bring shoes because she had to evacuate her house and didn't even have time to get a pair of shoes on. One of the things about AHF is the way they always come through for the community. But you know, one of our core values is valuing employees. Seeing what they did for us today, it just, I'm, I'm getting a little choked up because it's, it's unbelievable. This is a, a fraction of what was brought over here. We were able to give every staff member a generator. And so just having these batteries and especially the generators and all the water is just, just another example of the AHF family working together. We're very used to dealing with uh, responding to natural disasters. Fort Myers is a little bit different and in some ways a bit of a blessing because out of our Fort Myers location, we also operate a food pantry that was fully stocked before the hurricane hit. Um, and through the action and dedication of our employees here, they managed to get a generator running to keep all of the food items um, fresh um, and edible. And we're able to distribute those items to the community, to patients, to employees um, who had nothing left after the storm. So that was a real um, added benefit for this particular location that helped us meet the needs of the community and our employees. Um, I'm thankful that AHF was able to send people to help us out because that's appreciated and needed. So I give my thanks.